Hey there! Today I'm going to talk about a fountain pen which I recently got and I think this review may not be interesting to everyone because this is a kind of calligraphy pen. So it's not a regular fountain pen and yet I think you can use this for everyday writing, at least with some nibs. So, let's talk about the pen. This is the Lamy Joy and it came in this nice tin can, probably, I'm not sure. Um, nice metal box um, I like it I think that looks uh, fairly fancy especially this this nice uh, design on it I think it's a nice thing okay then when you open it up on the inside of the lid there is a sort of information booklet which tells us that a lot of people do not like the handwriting and that you can improve it if you simply uh, practice uh, so there's some uh, so calligraphy examples, not full uh, alphabets or anything, but just some some things to uh, beware of and and, and you know uh, angles, etc. So that's that's kind of a nice touch. Um, also, I think in general this set is really nicely constructed. So this is the inside of the lid. So the booklet I just showed you is in here. I think I just tore something off, but that's that's okay. Um, this is really nice ribbed paper, so it, it really looks nice, like a nice uh, gift set. Okay, then when you open it up, you see all of this. I'll take it out one by one, go through it, and also there was an extra cartridge in here. So here we have a box of cartridges. There was an extra cartridge that was sort of in the pen. Lamy has this thing with a sort of cardboard collar between, uh, I mean, uh, not a collar, but a, a collar, right, um, between the uh, feed and the, the barrel, so that it, they, they put in a, um, a cartridge, and then they, they put the cardboard thing in, so that you can't accidentally screw it shut and open up the cartridge in the shop. So, it came with one blue cartridge, it came with a box of five uh, black cartridges, I've tried these and I don't like them. This is a, a, a grayish black. I think for calligraphy that's... I, I prefer really black ink. Okay, then we have the actual pen, the cap. If this cap reminds you of a, a Vista or a Safari, or maybe the All-Star, uh, you're right, because it actually feels like it's aluminum. Uh, I think this pen also comes in an aluminum version. But this doesn't feel like aluminum at all. I think I got the um, regular plastic uh, version. It's fine with me. Uh, but the cap does... Yeah, to the touch. Sorry, I have to test it against my skin to feel. I, I, I think it's... Um, I think this is aluminum. Anyway, the pen. Um, it comes with three sections, which is interesting, because you can just remove the nibs. So they could also have just given you three nibs, but apparently they wanted to give you three sections. So here are two, and all of these nibs are italics, so they are cut straight and not round as is usual with fountain pens. So we get a 1.1 millimeter italic, we get a 1.5 millimeter italic, and we get, I think, a 1.9, yes, a 1.9 which I put on there. Now, I had experience with the 1.1 millimeter, and I don't like it. I think this is very sharp, and this literally cuts into the paper. So, and it was. Uh, with the separate nib I bought the 1.1 that was the case and it's the case with this one so maybe I'm doing something wrong but I can't write very pleasantly with that the 1.5 is okay and the 1.9 is very nice very smooth so those two really made it you know worthwhile for me to buy it then before I go to the pen there were these two mysterious cap like things now at first I thought that these were meant to close off a used cartridge because I, I also have a Brandzel calligraphy set I reviewed that on my channel somewhere uh, and it came with these caps which you can put in a cartridge but this is way too loose it really won't fit it'll fall off so then I was somewhat puzzled and I thought so what is this what's this meant for you can put it on the back of the pen but that makes absolutely no sense and now I think the idea is that you take the two sections you don't use and you put this cap on there and it sort of clicks in place. Um, that's the best I could think of and because you get two extra sections and two caps that seems to make sense but 
uh, of course if you leave them in the box they should be protected pretty well anyway so I, I I was a bit surprised anyway back to the pen okay let's let's discuss the pen in some more detail as I said the the I, I think it's the all-star cap um, first of all why is the cap gray everything on the pen is black apart from the nib and then the cap is gray perhaps this is supposed to be artful or something um, but I personally I think this detonates but okay whatever we do get a black clip we know this clip we've seen it before nice and and you know springy works well we got this thing on top someone pointed out to me that the fountain pens have this plus sign and there are other symbols for the ball points and the mechanical pencils I don't know what that was for but apparently if you have like the, the set of pens they all look the same you can just judge the cap and you can uh, see what type of pen you're holding without having to uncap all of them which I think is a nice touch okay now you see this weird shape uh, elongated I'm just grabbing here we have my um, platinum carbon desk pen yes I nearly said pilot again but this is platinum and as you can see it has this this type of shape so it's interesting for a calligraphy pen then we have a grip section which really really resembles that on the uh, Vista Safari etc excellent grips nothing wrong with that uh, it is nice to the touch it is plastic but it it has it's not extremely smooth and slippery it, it has some it has a nice feel to it which I like okay well then on the barrel it says Lamy and on the other side you probably cannot read that but it says Germany and you have this nice shiny bit there which has absolutely no function it just looks cool alright unscrew the section and then you see a converter the converter is not supplied with the pen which is a pity if you get such a complete set I would have enjoyed a converter but okay I forgot which type this is Z10 whatever you can probably find this um, it's one of those nice click in converters I have to be a little careful here it has these nice little uh, stubs and this section actually has a type of notch for that so you can just click it in there which is okay so it just fits in there and works just fine the nib is just stainless steel nothing fancy no gold um, but it works just fine right so that was a lot of talk I think the best thing I can do is to show you how the pen writes so um, well perhaps one thing I could add before that um, I have been unable to remove the feed from the grip section perhaps it's possible but I've been unable to do it what you can do if you have a bit of tape you put it on the nib like that you pull then nothing happens <laughs> Damn it. right there we go here we got the nib so you can actually remove the nib that way which is fairly easy um, and you can exchange them so if you like the 1.1 millimeter nib and you have a safari with say medium nib you can exchange them I, I think you may just exchange the grip sections but if you don't want to do that uh, I, I, you can just switch them around so these are universal nibs that fit in a lot of um, Alami pens so that's just a little bit of a trick um, I would say we're down to writing now so I hope this was useful and um, I'll see you later bye bye okay writing with the Lamy Joy uh, something I haven't pointed out is that there seems to be a type of inner cap in the cap which allows you to pose the pen I mean the weird shape of the barrel and notwithstanding you can actually uh, post it so that's nice for those of you who enjoy that so here we have the Lamy don't worry I'm not going to do the entire review like this let's do a bit of another type of calligraphy there it's a bit faster so here we have the Lamy Joy 
Now, the ink here is um, um, uh, Lee de Thé by Gerbin, which is one of my favorites. It's a very nicely shaded brown. Um, as you can see, this is the, uh, well, you, you probably can't see that, but this is the 1.9 millimeter nib. I'll show you the other ones too, just for size comparison reasons. You may enjoy that. Um, very broad nib, right? Now, even though this is made for calligraphy, you can use it for everyday writing. Uh, I was pleasantly surprised at that, that even this very broad nib, right, this is nearly two millimeters. So I don't know if you can see that very well, but if you look at this, and then if you look at this uh, sailor desk pen, you see there's quite a difference in the uh, width of the nib. Now, did I just say sailor desk pen? I meant platinum desk pen, sorry. Um, actually, un I'll unpause the pen, I think it's a bit more pleasant. Um, even with this very broad nib, you can still write, I mean, this is not smaller than I would write uh, with other pens. So, that's pretty good. The quick brown fox enjoys the joy. The nib is smooth. When you make, when I do this coloring, there's almost no resistance. It's really, really pleasant to use. So, of course, you're sucking up ink like there's no tomorrow here. But it's a very pleasant pen to use. Of course, because it is an italic, it gives you a very nice natural line variation going from very wide to much narrower and anything in between. So that's pretty good. Uh, it's smooth. It's nice. I really, really like it. Now here we have the 1.9. Let's exchange the section. The stuff I do for you guys. Now I have to clean these sections later on. But I don't mind. I like doing it. So I just squeeze the converter a bit. Or twist it. So that you get some ink in there. Yeah. That's a nice drop of ink. This is the 1.5 millimeter. And as you can see. That's quite a bit narrower. Actually. Um, Realign the camera a bit. You see that? So there's really a difference. This line is from the 1.5 millimeter. Okay. So if you would use this for everyday writing. To me this feels just a little bit scratchier, but it's still very nice. And as you can see, you get these really nice bits of line variation. Uh, so this pen was designed for people to improve the handwriting. Um, and I think they've... Lamy has actually done a nice job to encourage that. You don't have to be a calligrapher, you don't have to do gothic. You can just write the way you usually write, no matter how you usually write. Um, but it will really add something to your writing. So that's, that's a very good thing, and I think it's nice that they've launched such a pen. Okay, then let's have a look at the final width which was the 1.1 uh, millimeter. I've already told you in the video that I really dislike that. There we go. It's a lot of ink. Here we have the 1.1 millimeter. That's a pretty fine line. Um, oh yeah, I found a sweet spot. Okay, that's how to hold it. Um, disregard what I told you. This nib is smooth. It's just a matter of angling. I didn't hold it the correct way. Okay, well, great. Um, actually, it's very smooth. Maybe my other 1.1 millimeter is kind of screwed up or something. No, this is a nice nib. Okay, so then you get a nice set of three nibs, which are all pretty fine. Now, excuse me, which, yeah, I mean fine as in all pretty nice. Uh, this one's the finest, then you get the other two for more broad writing. Nice. Okay, so, this is the Lamy Joy set. I hope this was useful. And, um...
thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.